Hi, welcome to CapeCast. I'm Connie Barron, Public Information Director for the City of Cape Coral. Here is your three-minute news update for the week of November 28, 2011. City Council has scheduled a special meeting on Friday, December the 2nd at 4.30 p.m. They will be discussing the contract status of City Manager Gary King. They may decide to terminate the contract. If both sides decide to part ways, I'll give you an update next week and I'll let you know who they selected as the interim city manager. At Monday's council meeting, the city council asked Gary King to reconsider his policy change regarding extensive research charges and public records. King agreed to roll back the time to an hour, so there will be no charge for that first hour of time. The city department directors held a retreat this week to discuss strategic planning. The directors will be getting together with the council next week, December the 9th, to discuss the future direction, the vision, and other planning for the city. We do this every year with city council. The humidity is gone, the mosquitoes are gone, so it's a great time to go kayaking, and Four Mile Cove Ecological Preserve is a great place to kayak. The city also operates the Kayak Shack, where you can rent kayaks from anywhere from 20 bucks to 45 bucks. It's open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on the weekends only, and you can rent a kayak all the way through May of next year. Congratulations to firefighter Trenton Bowen. He was named the Cape Coral Firefighter of the Year. This past summer, firefighter Bowen was fishing in the Florida Keys when he and some friends saw a boat zipping through the channel at a very high rate of speed. It catapulted into the mangroves. Bowen and some friends went into the mangroves and helped to retrieve the victim. If they had not made this effort, he could have bled to death. So congratulations, Firefighter Bowen, for a job well done. The Fort Myers Cape Coral area is number three as a turnaround city. You know, we've been ranked various places for various reasons. This is a good one. Our median prices are up 33% for our homes, foreclosures are down, and our inventory is at a very low level. So things are looking up for Cape Coral. Finally, it's the end of the 2011 hurricane season. We had 18 storms, so it was still pretty active, but only one, Hurricane Irene, caused some damage. And it was about $18 billion in damage. Overall, we had a pretty safe season here in Cape Coral. That's your three-minute news update. I'll see you next week on CapeCast. Have a good week.